Come on, shout a big hallelujah. Come on, shout a big hallelujah. Amen. I'm before you this evening to give the welcome address. You are here to be above, and that is your portion, that is your place in Christ in the name of Jesus. Before I go on, my fathers in the house has already been introduced, all protocol highly observed. Been welcome, address delivered at the 19th Benia National Conference of the Government Student Fellowship. All glory, all honor, all majesty belongs to God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus. We owe him our thanks always. He saw us through the pandemic, here we are stronger than ever. May his name be praised forever. I officially welcome everyone to this glorious conference with the team above only. What a powerful and a prophetic team. These only convey the art of God towards us that we are above all regardless of our circumstances. It is said that the most important thing that ever or could ever happen to a man is not his existence or longevity, but how, if, how effective and impactful he lived his life. Beloved, on this assertion, I charge you to make best use of this glorious opportunity to launch and dive yourself in the greed of power and exalting grace that is made available unto us through this conference. You are either static, below, or above. The question to you is, where are you as at now? It's either you are static, or you are below, or you are above. That is what this conference has to solve. By redemption, God has you to be above only it is not negotiable by redemption God has packaged you to be above only Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19 says what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the workings of his mighty power verse 20 says which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. Beloved, listen again. It says, What is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the workings of his mighty power? Then verse 20 says, Which he walked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in heavenly places. Listen now to what the redemption has brought. Number one. Far above all principalities. At redemption, Christ has given us a mandate and we are far above. And that is what this conference has come to emphasize and establish. Far above all principalities, powers and might and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Number two. At redemption, Christ has put all things under your feet. Anyone who is above, there is something under his feet. You have been exalted and you have been taken higher. The scripture says all things put under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church. Number three says, he that cometh from above is above all. I repeat again. The scripture says, John chapter 3, verse 31, He that cometh from above is above all. Are you from above? Are you from above? They tell somebody, I am above all. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the heart is heartly, and speaketh of the heart. He that cometh from above 
is above all. You are from heaven. You are above all. You are here at this conference to locate your place and begin to operate in this understanding. To this end, there are certain things you must do. Please listen. You must learn. You are in this conference to learn. Please give yourself to it. Number two things you must do is that you must relearn. You must relearn. You must relearn. Don't assume you know it already. Don't assume that, oh, there is nothing anybody can say. With such a mind, there is nothing for you. But God has prepared men of God to help us. So we must relearn. Number three, we must leverage on all that we must, that will be taught. Leverage on all that God has in stock for you and lead a fulfilled life and sport. Beloved, in this meeting, you are to learn and you are to submit yourself to relate. Then number three, leverage on all that you will be taught. Leverage on all the information that will be given to you. Process it. Let it become knowledge. With these mandates, then your being above is established. I wish you a great conference and a wonderful time out in God's presence. Hallelujah. Please, let's abide by the conference rules and regulations. They are put in place for our benefit. It shall be well with us all. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you all. God bless you. The moderator. You can do better for the Lord.